Joe Paterno coached Penn State for 46 years. He was a football legend, but sex abuse allegations involving one of his staff abruptly ended Paterno's career. Born on December 21st, 1926 in Brooklyn, New York, Paterno played college ball for Brown University. In 1950, he became an assistant coach at Penn State and 16 years later took over the reins as the Nittany Lions head coach. Paterno led Penn State to two national championships. In 2010, he won his 400th game and thanked his loyal fans. People ask me why I stayed here so long, and you know what? Look around, look around. I stayed here because I love you all. In October of last year, and 409. Paterno, known as Joe Pa, became the winningest football coach in Division I history with 409 victories. But days later, news of a sex scandal broke involving his former defensive coordinator and his career unraveled. Paterno came under fire for not going to police about allegations Jerry Sandusky sexually abused a young boy in the team's locker room. Joe Paterno is no longer the head football coach, effective immediately. Penn State's board of trustees fired Paterno. Fans rallied around the legendary coach. I love you all. Riots erupted on campus. Paterno later admitted he could have done more to stop the abuse and explained to the Washington Post how he handled the situation. I called you know, my superiors and I said, hey, we got a problem, I think. Would you guys look into it? Because I didn't know, you know, I had never had to deal with something like that. I wouldn't feel, I didn't feel adequate. Nine days after he was fired, Paterno's family announced the coach had a treatable form of lung cancer. But Paterno suffered complications and was hospitalized. He never recovered. Begad Shaban, CBS News.